Hey boys, welcome to a brand new video and an exciting video. We have got a a brand new rugby league video game. Um, just to, just to tape for people's expectations a little bit. It is not is not a new rugby league live or a um you know a fully fledged game like that. It is a new rugby league team manager, rugby league team manager three. So it's the it's the third installment in the series, and. Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm actually very excited. I saw this they um it's probably a few weeks a month ago I initially saw the the game they advertised it. Now the game is going to be releasing only on Steam, PC. Um it's not going to be on consoles. I'm I'm pretty sure. Uh, um it is a game that is built for PCs. It's not really a console type game. Um, but the game is going to be coming out uh, in early access on the 7th of January. That might be pushed forward because I know initially um, on the Steam website it was the 11th of January. It's it's now moved back to the 7th, so I don't know. They might It might uh, come forward or it might stay at the 7th, I don't know. But at that time, on the 7th, you'll be able to download it and it'll be in early... So, just a just a note. It will be in early access, which for you know, if if you're not if you're not too sure what that means, basically the game is still going to be developing while you get to play it and give feedback. That's sort of you know, and that, that's the beauty of releasing on Steam and stuff because it's just so much easier to to bring out an early product. People can can start playing it. They can give feedback, and the developers can uh, continue to work on things that, uh, you know, people, people say. Now, obviously, by the time I'm uploading this video, it's, it's not actually the 7th of January. So, a huge, a huge shout out and a huge thanks to Alternative Software, the, uh, the developers of Rugby League Team Manager here. Um, they've supplied me with an early, uh, beta code. So, this is a, I, I guess it's an earlier, an earlier um, form of the game. I don't know if it, it, it's probably not too much. It, it probably won't be too much different to the to the early access version that get gets released. But we'll see. I, I'm not too sure when uh, when that time comes. I'm sure I'll get an update, and there might be a few things changed. So that that's the only thing to note. So if there's a even when the early access uh, rendition releases. You know, one thing to keep in mind, if there are like a few bugs and a few, you know, few weird things going on, it is an early access, so just just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, let's get, uh, what's this? So this is the main menu. Uh, yes, I'm new. Show me the, show me the freaking basics. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the third, uh, the third game in the, the series, and I, I think... I played the I played the first one briefly. Now the I, I know I'm not getting into it. This is more <laughs> people probably want to see the game. Um, don't worry, I'll get into it in a, in a second here. But I I just wanted to give a little background of these games. Um, the first game I did play a little bit, uh, but sort of sort of the way it's worked is these games have sort of always not directly, but they've sort of coincided with one of the rugby league live games releasing. It's actually perfect timing for this game to come out because, you know, there's no there's no sort of talk about the new Great Big League Live game coming out anytime soon, and you know it's the it's the start of the 2020 year. Uh, in a couple of months, it'll be the start of the season. So, uh, you know, it's honestly really good timing, you know. And that, this thing I want to say straight away before we get into the actual game itself, they've done an excellent job of a timing window to release um, the uh, the early access because we're, you know, a couple of months will be leading up to the season and then hopefully, I'm, I'm not sure of their planned full release, but, you know, I'm, I'm assuming if, th probably they're hopeful if everything goes to plan and everything is smooth that they're, they're hoping to release it probably around the start of the season. Not to, you know, I can't confirm that that's their that's their um, 
estimated time, but I'm sure if, if, if everything is working, they, they would love to release it at the start. And it's just a good time to do it. And that's the other, that's the other uh, point I'd like to make before we get into it. The, the initial version of this, it's going to be the 2019 teams and uh, rosters and all that. But they're, they're planning to, when the game you know, gets into the, the full season, they're going to uh, give an update for the 2020 uh, squads and stuff. Because obviously we don't even have the, like, the finalized squads and you know, teams for every club anyway. There's, there's probably a few moving parts still to, to begin with. So yeah, that, that's, uh, that's all that out of the way. Um, oh, here we go. We got to put in our, <laughs> our, our player. Um, all right, so I'm not going to put in my, my full name. I'll just put in my <laughs> Dan in, uh, in Soyan. In, uh, can I spell? <laughs> no. <laughs> my microphone is covering the freaking, uh, keyboard, dude. Okay, there we go. Uh, date of birth. Um, I mean, I'll put my proper date of birth. I know some people always ask, like, how old I am. So now you can... You can do the mass. Um, contract length? Oh, I guess this is your initial... Um, you can start... Uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go on two for now. Uh, nationality, uh, Australia. Confirm details. Uh, oh, but the other thing, quickly... I, I'm getting off topic, and there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of talk before we get into it, um, but... My my um, previous experience, like I was going to say, I did play the first one briefly. I didn't play it too much. The second one, I, I didn't I didn't play. I, I watched some footage of it, and it looked like it was a fairly big step forward in terms of it, because it, it actually incorporated, like, the 3D. Um, you get to watch it real time and, you know, do all this and that. Um, and it looked like it was a fairly big step forward. And the, the early footage and stuff I've seen of Team Manager 3, it looks like it's, again, a, a massive step forward in the, the managerial um, stuff and all that. So, yeah, it, uh, it, looks, it looks like they've done a fairly good job. And just the, the overall, like, menus and stuff looks very polished at the minute. So, all right, here we go. Manager setup. Select a manager style. Each manager style has a unique... Uh, Unique manager uh, attribute bonus and will help boost certain aspects of your managerial task. So, play a coach. Uh, so, despite supposedly hanging up their boots several years ago, the player coach always seems to be determined to get involved, whether it be getting stuck in during training or changing with the team after games. So, manager style boost uh, 30 to training, 30 to training additions. Uh, the suit. We've got 30 to negotiation, 30 to wisdom. So that as you, you can just tell by this, there's there's going to be a lot of depth in this. And I'm just going through like, I, I'll obviously, before I start like a proper sort of playthrough, because I will be bringing out like a playthrough, I'm going to go through like the basics here with you guys for this first video, give an overview, and then I'll probably try to get used to it and work out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but this is just going to be a quick little overview of the basics and then um, and then I'll definitely get into a, uh, a playthrough, um, which uh, will be good. So yeah, the suit there, the drill sergeant. So we've got uh, three here. So player, fitness 20, training 20, and develop uh, developing potential 20. That one seems, that seems up my alley. Uh, the volunteer... So no boost there, but what does this do? Uh, despite having no prior rugby coaching experience, the volunteer is thrown straight into coaching in the team when nobody else will. Completely clueless about what they're, they're doing. Okay, so <laughs> so the volunteer seems like... Um, oh, what do they call it in Dark Souls? <laughs> the What do they call it? Not the peasant. Um, it's It's sort of like the... The one where maybe you can increase everything, like to a certain level more than others, but you start with like lower stats across the board. Um, that's that's pretty neat actually that they they've got that one there. That's that's actually really cool. Um, the purest, uh, we got plus attacking and plus kicking. 
and then the tactician plus attacking plus defense plus tactical consistency okay so a couple of i like that one the tactician and i like the drill sergeant because i like the developing potential i think is would be pretty handy in a game like this uh play of fitness as well and training uh you know what doesn't really matter too much i'm just gonna go with the drill sergeant for now we'll uh confirm uh the manager's style there all right so select a team so here we can go through all the teams so super league here we got the cast for well i'm not going to go through all the teams but they they've got all the the super league teams here in the northern hemisphere uh and then the southern hemisphere you've got all the actually yeah we can actually drop down as well we got the super league championship um so the second feeder the, the logos are a little bit blurry i think i do I actually need effect. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I guess it's meant to be like that. It's blurry from the start, but then if you you hover over it, it like zooms in and, and clears it up. That's actually a pretty neat effect, actually. <laughs> I was like, is it meant to be blurry? But that's actually quite cool. Um, so yeah, you got the championship teams and then uh, League One. So it's got all those. And then Southern Hemisphere, you've got uh, all the NRL clubs. Uh, they've also got... Yeah, so they got the New South Wales Cup. And they've also got the uh the queensland cup so very uh very cool there uh so we'll just go let's just go broncos the nrl again um i'll do like a proper playthrough i'll probably get you guys to vote on what team you would like to see but we'll just we'll just go with the broncos for now um and i'm sure we're going to get into some fairly uh fairly uh deep stuff so yeah like i said it's a game where there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of stuff going on um and you know it, it's gonna it could be a bit overwhelming to start but that's why we uh we went th through the tutorial i guess all right so here we go next step here we go all right so this menu button will take you to the club screen which gives you an overview of everything related to your club your first duty as managing director of a new club is to sign a new sponsor unless you transfer to a club mid-season Click on the club menu button to continue. All right. This is where you assign sponsors for your team. You can only assign one sponsor, so choose wisely as they all provide differing benefits. Okay, click on assign sponsor. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go, dude. All right, so... All right, so we got... Uh, your club caliber national tiers available to you five. So I'm assuming if you're like in Queensland Cup or something like that, you're going to have lower tiers and probably less to choose from. Um, and then you've got the five selections here. So uh, let's just click on first one here. So what we got here, company overview, auto vehicles, um, not really too important there, but uh, so proposed sponsorship deal, duration two years, annual funding, um, Oh, this one thing to note as well it is a uh it is an uh a uk um company so all the stuff here i don't know you probably can change it i'll have a look later to see if you can actually change um if it can go to australian dollars or just pounds but um no not a huge deal either way uh but annual funding um so seven thousand two hundred forty seven what is <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um yeah so you got the annual funding there uh total amount advertising a campaign so plus 10 repu uh, reputation boost an advertising campaign can be used once per year to help boost the reputation rating for your current club this campaign can be launched at any point throughout the year and should be used uh, strategically. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go across. Uh, so, Protein Hut, duration one year. So, already a fairly uh, big difference there. Uh, annual funding, total amount. Obviously, that's a that's a fair bit lower. Actually, is it lower in the per year? Yeah, it's, it's a lot lower in the per year. Uh, advertising campaign plus three years. All right, so... An uh, 
Hold up. So what does what does that mean? I'm trying to pass it here. <laughs> An advertising campaign can be used. So that, that's the same thing. But what is? Let's just read through that again. An advertising campaign can be used once per year to help boost the reputation rating for your current club. This campaign can be launched at any point throughout the year and should be used strategically. Okay, I'm not. I'll I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not too sure what it means because. The duration of the thing is only one year. I don't know if that means plus three years you get to use it three times in the year, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out as time goes on. Um, then we got another one here. Plus two reputation boost. Uh, so what was this one? Plus ten reputation boost. Okay. Uh, plus three reputation boost. Okay, so that's the only different one so far. Plus three years. And then this is plus three reputation boost so yeah we'll, we'll get a better understanding of what all this means i'm just going to go with the first one here seems pretty good honestly um so a sign selected sponsor all right so this menu button will take you to the player screen which allows you to sign players for each squad main academy alliance for your uh for the next upcoming fixtures of each respective squad your next task is to sign a player to so the main squad as they have the first upcoming fixture Okay, so this is where we get into the real, the real managerial of the of the team and stuff. So here we go. This tab, this tab button will take you to the team, uh, team selection, which is where you assign and submit training for that, for that ro rotation. Maybe click, <laughs> click on the team selection. All right, here we go, dude. This is where you assign players to the team for the currently selected squad. You can save time and quick assign players by using the coach's quick pick drop down on the right. Select uh, player assignment. Okay. Okay. So yeah, here we go. We we <laughs> this is where we we basically select our our team, so to speak. So as you can see here. We've got, uh, it's pretty neat, you can, it's obviously a little bit hard to see, it's a small um, small window, but you got the player actual like faces and stuff, um, so you got Alex Glenn here, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> we're not going to keep him at prop, um, hey boys, we're back, I, <laughs> it wouldn't have been much of a break in the actual video, but, um, I, <laughs> I finished the team, unfortunately, I, I went through and did, like, the proper team and everything, and then, um, I guess the tutorial wanted me to do, like, the quick, the quick pick option, so, it, it was just a waste of time picking all the players, so, <laughs> we moved on to, on the training, uh, training thing, so this tab will take you to the training road to one, which is where you sign and submit training for that, uh, Click on the training road at one tab button to continue. Okay, geez, dude, there is so much stuff here. <laughs> All right, so this is where you assign and submit your fortnightly training rotor, which must be completed every two weeks. Right click on, right click on already assigned slots to empty them, or use the clear all button at the bottom. Drag and drop new training options into empty slots. Once you're done, submit the rotor to continue. Okay. All right, so here we go. So the training options we've got cardio workout. Uh, does it have like what it the stats it increases? I mean, fairly self-explanatory, but I thought there might be uh, attacking unopposed, tackle practice, long distance running, tactical diversion, sprint drills, simulated match, defensive patterns. Uh, powerlifting, Olympic wrestling, kicking, and rest. All right. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, so, I'm assuming this is obviously... This is obviously uh, preseason at the moment. Yeah, so week one, 31st to the 12th, um, 2018, to the 6th of the 1st, 2019. So... At the moment, um, it's rest, all that. So, I mean, that's probably fair enough. I don't know if I should actually... <laughs> I mean, I guess... <laughs> I don't want to work my boys too hard over the Christmas break. Um, <laughs> when do they... I mean, they get back into training. Like, I, I guess... 
right click to remove um i don't know we'll give him like the i honestly this is where like i'm not too sure like the you know what exactly i mean we'll keep that first week just all rest i guess um uh you know that's probably fine actually what's this oh it's morning i'm a freaking I idiot dude it is <laughs> so it's more morning and then afternoon so i we'll, we'll delete it all dude let's let's just do it so somewhat properly um so i mean monday you know what what do you want to do on monday it's a, it's a it's a bad day for most people give us some power lifting dude power lifting and then where's a uh, little rest a little rest there um after that you know we really want to focus on on the power aspect definitely than a rest i don't know if <laughs> honestly i don't know like the ideal way to do it at all um definitely where do you submit the the rotor oh there's submit there okay so you, yeah you clear all or submit training rotor so um yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna bother too much let's let's just put it down we, we get the gist of it um i'm not gonna spend a hundred years trying to um you know work out exactly what we want it this is like i said before it is just sort of like a quick look at so yeah there's a there's a lot of stuff here which is very cool um we'll just submit that that's that's fine um not gonna yeah go through every single one properly at this stage uh so training rotor 2 this tab button will take you to training rotor 2 which is where you assign and submit trading for that rotor click on that okay so basically same thing um what is the difference though training rotor for training group two so is this uh, i'm assuming is this different uh different players because it's the same it's the same uh dates and stuff so i'm assuming it's the same or it's just a different group of uh of people training which which makes sense um so we're not we're not gonna worry we'll just submit that that's fine and then this uh, this menu button will take you to the tactics screen, which uh, which gives you access to team instructions and tactics. Your next task is to set a captain and first second uh, first and second positional kicks for the team. You have assigned to play in each squad's upcoming fixtures. Okay, so this is where you sort of get the uh, the squad sort of finalized. All right, so this is where you assign a team captain for each squad. All players must be assigned in players team selection. Um, before a captain can be signed for each squad, clicking on a player player position on the left will show the player currently signed to that position and, and allow you to then assign them as captain if you wish. Once the captain has been signed, the tutorial will continue. All right, so main squad. First, uh, first positional kicker. Where are we going, dude? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> this way you can sign. Okay, am I not, okay, I'm not actually doing it, I guess. That's where it confused me, I think. So this is where you can assign first and uh, second positional kickers. Uh, same as same as before. Okay, fair enough. Academy. Main squad. Alliance. Yep, fair enough. Oh, okay, so this is where, yeah, so you click, okay, so yeah, you click on, click on the player, assign chosen player as kicker, so we'll obviously do, and also, so yeah, the team is obviously a little bit, a little bit strange for sure, um, it just quick picked it, so a little bit strange, we'll assign him, um, as the kicker, that's fine, um, all right, so this is where you can adjust instructions for the team that will affect how players behave during a match. You don't need to adjust anything at the moment. Uh, click on the next button to continue. All right, this is where you can access more in-depth team tactics such as move sets, structured attack, and structured defense. You don't need to do anything here for now as tactics are set up for you. Click on the next button. I guess I don't want to click on it. 
<laughs> All right. This button is what allows you to advance the next day. You can control how many days to skip ahead by using the slider on the left of, of the button. If, the, if there's ever anything that needs your attention on the particular date before progressing, the game will let you know and point you in the right direction. You're now ready to advance... You're now, uh, you're now ready to advance a sign. Am I reading that? Am I dyslexic? You're now ready to advance a sign, preseason friendlies, and then advance to a match. Click on the continue button to continue. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, cannot advance. Uh, preseason friendlies. Preseason friendlies must be selected today. Okay, so this, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff going on, but that at the same time, the game. Seems like the game does a good job at... You're not going to be able to skip over setting a captain or setting a kicker or setting your tactics, right? Like, it's going to it's gonna pop up something where you have to go through and, and manage it. So, yeah, that, that's sort of... You know, that's a good thing because that, there is a lot going on. And, uh, you know, if, if you could just miss something out, it could be an issue. But it, it obviously pops up when you've got to do something. So, link to preseason friendlies. Okay. All right. So here we go. Preseason friendlies are matches that take place ahead of the first fixture in the upcoming season. You can opt uh, to not have any friendly matches to focus on training before your first official fixture. However, taking part in friendly matches preseason will allow you to not only gauge the ability of rival teams, but also test the abilities of your own players and understand what areas of training need to be focused on. Okay. So that that's actually a very cool sort of. Uh, little tidbit there um you can just not select any friendlies and then well i'm just <laughs> i'm just regurgitating it but i actually really like that that's actually quite um quite cool i uh, looking at it quickly it sort of feels like why would you want to play friendlies then but i guess you know like it says you want to see if you're leaking a lot of points you know you need to focus more on defensive training and stuff like that so yeah, I, yeah, I guess, and also see what players are performing and what are are in bad form. So yeah, I guess it, it makes sense. Um, so I mean, uh, we're gonna play Southern Hemisphere. I'm <laughs> I'm imagining. Uh, all right. So okay. So this is actually really cool, dude. I gotta be honest. Uh, can you can you um okay? So we can let's uh you know what yeah Bulldogs will lock in that home or away draw it can it can be a home home that's fine um i don't know if that really affects too much but why not <laughs> next one we'll we'll play a queensland cup team we'll play uh we'll play um we'll play redcliffe our boys um that's obviously home <laughs> and then um and then we'll play got to play the cowboys play that away in Townsville and then play one more one more NRL team let's let's just go with the let's go with the the Sea Eagles that'll do <laughs> that'll do so it's, it is pretty neat um I guess can you wait can you um how do I unlock can I not unlock Okay, I've already locked it, so I can't unlock it. But I'm guessing I didn't have to select all four. I could have actually just done three, which, you know, that's sort of the trade-off. But we'll, we'll do all four. Confirm friendlies. Um, so then, yeah, we can continue to next date. What's what's down here? So we got... Um, okay, so I'm still going to do this. I didn't do this before. So select a, uh, a captain of the main squad. I don't know who the heck is even in the team. So we got... Uh, we got Darius Boyd. Um, you can see here a few few little stats. Well, I don't know what this um, percentage is at the moment, but leadership 67, tenacity 71. We got Corey Oates. Uh, we got Isaiah Parisi. Um, so yeah, the team the team is very strange. Um, it it didn't let me like it just did like a quick select. So that's that's why uh, Jackie Jackie Bird there, James Roberts. Um, we'll just go, I don't really want to put Boyd as, as captain. <laughs> we'll just go Boyd. Just make it easy, dude. So we got Boyd as captain. We got, uh, Dargan as the first. I oh, know he was the second kicker. We'll put, um, 
Milford. Why do I keep doing that, dude? Oh my goodness, how do we go back? <laughs> how do we go back? Help me. <laughs> Here we can... Well, I, I clicked on the player, and uh, we can sort of... We'll delve into a little bit here. So, we've got... So, Anthony Milford, you got his positions, 5'8", 5'8", uh, fitness, match readiness, so 81%, morale, 61%, development potential, seems seems pretty low. Um, so, you got his contract there, uh, clauses, contract type, and then you can go to his stats when the when the season kicks off and then you've got even more stuff here so all the physical attributes psychological attributes and then technical so a lot of a lot of stuff to um to delve into how do we go back club um staff injuries was it at training not training teams yeah, here we go. So, it's teams. I clicked on the wrong freaking thing, dude. <laughs> All right. So, assign, assign Milford there. There you go. And then... So, what's this? So, we got we got team instructions. Um, so, you got team tactics there. They, did, they didn't go into that at the minute. But you got attacking style. I um, guess you can, uh, you can select some of these. Defensive style. Ad lib. Structured. So we got structured, flexible, structured, rigid, ad lib, move by move. Honestly, for the Bronx, I would say ad lib, move by move would be handy. Um, go for drop, uh, go for drop goal when in range. Uh, nah, probably not. <laughs> uh, then you can. So the, yeah, this is actually there is. It seems overwhelming for sure. Um, but I'm start, I'm starting to get the gist of it for sure. Like I like this type of stuff here. So hooker. You got playmaker, opportunist, attacking. Um, because our, who is our hooker? It's Andrew McCulloch, so I'd probably go playmaker for him, honestly. Um, halfback, we got Dargan, so I'd probably put him as playmaker as well. And then Anthony Milford, we would definitely put as... Uh, I mean, either opportunist or attacking. I'd probably go attacking, and then... Um, yeah... What's this? Messages? What have we got here? Welcome to training. Welcome to sponsorship. Okay, fair enough. Get out of my face. Uh, so continue to next date. Transfer bid email requires attention. So link to emails. Okay. We would like to negotiate an offer for your alliance player. Keith Scully, value a thousand pounds. Yours sincerely, Lee Radford, Hull SC. Um, okay, and then what's this? There is no, there's currently no marquee player assigned. Please assign a marquee player in the players section so we can deduct his salary from the league's salary cap assessment. Okay, fair enough. Um, you know what? We're like over half an hour into this video. I'm probably going to wrap it up here. Obviously, a lot of talking, a lot of just going through the very basics. Um, but that was a good little introduction. Like I said at the start, you know, thank you to Alternative Sof uh, Software. Um, the game is going to be coming out in early access the 7th of January on Steam, where you guys can check it out. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. Um, I'm definitely going to just go through on my off time here get a little bit more of a feel for it and then i'm probably just going to start up a uh an actual playthrough just quickly and and um you know get get more of a feel for it before the game actually releases so hopefully guys are going to enjoy the uh this team manager rugby league type game um i'm not actually too sure like how how it's going to do on youtube I, i'm i think people will enjoy it but i'm not i'm actually not too sure um but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. Well, not quick. It's a freaking long one. <laughs> Make sure to like and comment. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with uh, some more Rugby League Team Manager 3 in, uh, in the near future. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.